Hey, what's going on YouTube? Finally back in 2020 after all these years. And I apologize to those who have commented or asked a question. I literally just saw your responses recently. But finally back here and um, I got a, a lot more content for you guys as well as some teaching because I've been getting a lot of questions on certain techniques or just tutorials. So today we're gonna do an easy hack on bar chords. And a lot of people get intimidated by bar chords because it utilizes multiple fingers, maybe four, you know. Stuff like that, not just your plain C, G7, A minor. So the trick is, you're gonna have a primary finger here, let's say our index finger, and we're gonna clamp that down. Let's hold our B minor, right here. So we're, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be squeezing the thumb and the index finger together and um we're just gonna borrow second fret right now so this is like our b minor seven chord and sometimes we have the problem of this one string is just not there it's not present so to help with that problem you can stack your middle finger on your index finger like this and now you can get the clarity that you really want So that little detail helps a lot. Then you can slide. So let's try to go to our fifth fret, everybody. Fourth. And then second. And you're probably wondering, but what about the other fingers? So when we add extensions, I like to call them as like our, our pinky. So let's add our pinky to the fourth fret. So this is our D major seven chord here. I am pressing harder with my primary finger, the index finger. So I'm holding that down. And any extensions that I do, like in my music, I do a lot of, uh, I move on a lot. And the way I can do it so proficiently is because I'm actually pressing lighter with the extensions. So when I add this pinky on, I'm not holding it down too hard, not as hard as um, your index finger. Like that. And then even if you were to throw on um, some other fingers as well, your G, again, heavy on the index finger and lighter on the two fingers. Again, B minor seven, bar it. Let's do a little challenge here. Let's add the pinky to the seventh. Something like that. So again, heavy and lighter on there. It takes a lot, it takes a bit of time, a lot of touch. But that is just one simple way of how to make your bar for chords more effective and have more clarity to them. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. There's just a little quick tip. Submit any questions you have on a further video or topic I can cover. But I uh, got more videos coming your way. Thank you guys. Aloha.